Hello all, and welcome back to another episode of The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. This is your friendly host, Anvil Dude, joining you again with the Argonian Nerevarine Hopeful pushes through obstacles. <clears throat> Last episode, we learned a little bit more about the Nerevarine prophecies and how we may or may not fulfill some of them. But, today, we need to head back to Caius Crusades and let him know what we've learned. Apologies if I have any uh, voice issues today. <clears throat> I'm feeling a mite under the weather. It's times like this, I wish I had myself a Cure Common Disease potion. I mean, at least it's no blight disease, you know? Hmm? Oh, and also, Happy Easter. Let's give this a moment. My uh, frame rate should stabilize itself again soon. But yeah, to celebrate, let's make myself an Easter potion if I can. Hey. Speak, traveler. Hello. Rara and Radaris. Whoa. Hey, come on. Vigi game. Computer. Just keep keep working, keep doing your thing. You know what I bet it is? I bet. Because I just started on my computer, actually. And you know what I bet it is? Is I bet there's some program starting up in the background. That's doing its initialization. Because, yeah, now we're back up to... Uh, Because we're jumping between, like, 70 FPS and 1. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Come on now, stable. Let's head over to Caius, see if we can't get into some dialogue. Seeing as dialogue is just a single screen, and FPS drops shouldn't really affect us if we're just reading text. What makes this smell? Did someone just say that I smelled? How rude. Uh, have any of you seen... This is actually going to date me, which is kind of interesting. But have any of you seen... The, um... 
I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. I guess it's like a meme poster or something? I don't know, going around. Supposedly, in the movie poster for The Last Jedi, you can see, like, the foggy image of Jar Jar Binks in the corner. And people have been going crazy about it. Okay, Kai's Kosei's house. I press the entry button. There we go. I'd be happy to talk. My pleasure, really. Hey, Caius. There we go. Uh, orders. I want to talk to you. First off, I had a disturbing dream. <laughs> Marwind, if you have disturbing dreams, the temple says you're crazy. And they want to lock you up. When you have disturbing dreams and think they mean something, the temple thinks you're a prophet or witch. And they want to lock you up. So don't tell anybody about it. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, lost prophecies. Distant priests do have records of Ashland or Neverovarine prophecies. Maramilo, that was our contact in the Vivek libraries. She has an idea how we might get a look at them. The emperor and his counselors say you have the appearance of satisfying the conditions of the prophecy. He's skeptical. Well, do you have any orders for me in that? Actually, quick question about the Blades Trainers, because I just saw in a different playthrough someone got, like, a lot of neat stuff from the Blades Trainers. Not free, of course. Cheap for the fellow agent. Rithleen, Tiermalin, and Nine Toes. Here in Balmora. And then in Caldera is Serene Leorian. Alderun's got Gildan. Sewer of a Horsemouth and Alderun. And Elone the Scout. Talk to her already. Anyways, do you have any orders for me? I've spoken with Sulmatul and Nabadi Maesa, and from what they say, it sounds like you really you could really be the Nerevarine. That's just incredible. But I'll have to get used to the idea. Let me try to get word to Maramilo. Maybe she can find out whether the dissident priests have any lost prophecies. But in the meantime, I have a very tough assignment for you. Do you think you're ready? I'm willing but cautious. Good. Cautious is smart. I'm going to give you the mission, but I'm going to give you 400 drakes. Before you head out, make sure you outfit yourself with healing potions, new gear, a little training, whatever you think you need most. And if you get in trouble, back off, rest up, and go back fresh. Don't take any chances. I think this will be a tough one. Here's your mission. Fort Buckmoth sent a patrol to Narmok, hunting smugglers with six health connections. They found a six health base, a six health shrine, and a six health house. The sixth house priest named Dagoth Garys. Speak to Champion Ray Sapulia at Fort Buckmoth. She'll tell you about the patrol in the sixth health base. Sixth house base. Your orders. Find that sixth health. Sixth, sixth house base. Kill Dagoth Garys and bring me a full report on the sixth house base. <laughs> mm hmm. Secret cult. Strange events. Uh, Fort Buckmoth. For the Red Wren District. So near Aldrun. Okay, that's good. Um, and the base. In a cave the locals call Ilunibi. But the one trooper that escaped, that's not good. And he's died of corpus disease. That's even worse. Before he died, trooper reported fighting with monsters and cultists and something about a powerful cultist priest called a Dagoth Garys. Okay. Well, that'll be interesting. Actually, what do you have to say about the Mages Guild? Arcane Arts, Wizards for Hire, Training Good Services, or Cheap for Members. Yeah, okay. The Mages Guild here is a better bet than the Fighters Guild. Huh. Huh. 
Okay. Well, this... This is actually kind of nice, because, uh... Hello. My time is precious, so make it quick. You're the one that walked up to me. You're a commoner. <laughs> so what little advice do you have for me, hmm? Okay. <laughs> Alright, well hey, thank you very much. I need to sell some of the stuff that I have. See, this is the uh, corner club. Don't want to go there. I don't think. Yeah, this is the poor side of town. I want to go to the uh, better side of town. Don't stand about. Get moving. Hey, Hedvid. At me. Quam eggs. Mmm, eggs. I always kind of wondered if these crates ever refill themselves. But a little bit of Balmore information. First off, up here, this is the fancy part of town. This is the expensive place. These are all different manors and stuff. This area, which is why they have guard towers, of course. This area is where you go. Uh, one of these places is Hlelu Manor. And it's where you go to... Yep, House Hlelu. And it's where you go to join House Hlelu. Now, I'm a Red Ren in this playthrough, but you can join House Hlelu as well. They're a little bit simpler to uh, get through. Redoran is a fighting house, so it's almost like joining the Fighters Guild. Lelu is more a merchant's and politician's house, so it's a lot more focused on speechcraft. Um, Anytime you're ready, trade, just don't keep me waiting. That sort of stuff. Why do people keep on walking up to me? It's more focused on, you know, mercantile things. Um, maybe a little bit of sneakiness, too. But it's, it's a decent house. It's a decent place to, to start working through. Let's see, though. I... This is Nakaria, the alchemist, a fine clothier. Hmm. Morag Tong, Narano Manor, Lady Manor, and the Council of Turbale. That's right, there aren't any jewelers here, are there? Do I want to sell this to a, these to a jeweler, or do I want to sell them to an alchemist? You know, I might as well sell them to an alchemist. Hmm? Nalcario of Whitehaven. Hello, Nalcaria. I would like to barter with you. My patience Question. is limited. Um... Mercantile is only level 22. My speechcraft is only level 8, so I'm not going to try to just make her feel better about me. Um, my personality is only at 32 as well. I don't have any... Well, first off, I don't want to do, like, drain personality. That would just be... Yeah, that would just be kind of, uh, mean. Um, do I have any interesting inspiration? Charms, Hawkshaw, Fire Barrier, Cold Lingual Static. I've got a belt of charisma. Hmm. Okay. And I can damage her personality. I don't really want to do that, though. Uh, Corrupt Arconics. There's Miracle. Mondin's Instigator? No, that's a Frenzy. I 
absorb personality, possibly. I'm going to try that, because I've never done that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save. Because I've never done this sort of thing before. I'd like to find out. If I did Red Scorn, which is Absorb Personality. Ten seconds on touch. Uh, first off. Both of Charisma, it lasts longer. There we go, six points, that's good. And then Red Scorn. Does this count as attacking her? It's over for you! It does. Interesting. Huh. Well, that's good to know, I suppose. It's 1 to 10, so anything above 5 would be good. 6 points again, that's good. I suppose it is my duty to help those less fortunate than myself. I do have some Telvanni bug musk. Might as well drink that. So, my personality has been significantly boosted. Um... I'm going to try a little bit of persuasion here. No, she doesn't like that. But she still likes me better than she did before, which is okay. So I'm going to sell my diamonds and emeralds and the like. Because these are very expensive things. And she has a lot of gold. Slowed soap I might as well sell as well, honestly. I'm not going to use it for much else. You want a skooma pipe? Okay. Um, do I have any fancy potions that I'm not going to use? Some cheap stuff. I got some Detect Enchantment Potions. Grand Luck and Restore Strength. My Easter Potion. <laughs> exclusive Fire Shield. Exclusive Restore Endurance. Exclusive Restore Strength. I never end up using Spell Absorption. Honestly, it's, it's not worth it, because I almost never use my Magicka. And I'd rather do, like, reflections and stuff, like my frost mirror robe has. So I'm going to sell my spell absorption potions. Got some flynn, fortify magic, restore health, fortify personality. Heh, could have taken another one. Oh, I've got a couple of those. That's nice. Quality frost shield. Hmm... I don't necessarily need that. I use I use those though. Quality restore strength. See, like I'll maybe take a reflect or something. So resist fires, resist shocks, restore fatigues. Lots of restore fatigues. Some of my restore health. Don't sell any of those. Those are important to have. I do not need to fortify my magic at all. Um, I honestly don't need to fortify my willpower that much. Barely need to do that. Okay. Apprentice's Mortar and Pestles. Weight is five. Quality is half. You probably have some better gear, don't you? Well, that's an apprentice. Got a master's. And a journeyman's. 
Weight is 4, quality is 1. Weight is 3, quality is 1.2. Weight is 2, quality is 1.5. Value is 4,000, though. That is significant. Um, tell you what, I'll upgrade to a journeyman mortar and pestle. Sell my old apprentice's one. How's that sound? That sounds good. It wasn't Alad Hide, it was Netch Leather? That's Fortify Intelligence? Yeah. Do you have any more of that? Because I'm considering starting the uh, upward spiral of potion making. Green, Black Anther, Bloat. Bloat is Fortify Intelligence. Okay. That would be a total of one weight if I bought all of them. You know what? Okay. Restore intelligence. Resist magicka. Resist poison. Restore fatigue. Restore fatigue. Resist shock. And lightning shield. That's always a neat thing with that. Daedra skin. Fortify strength. Huh. Uh, don't need any that. Fortify personality. Green lichen is fortified personality. Okay. Muck. And it's detect key. Huh. So a combination of vampire dust and Daedra skin, I think. Yeah, would be a Fortify Strength Potion. Probably a pretty powerful one. I don't particularly want to find out, though. Alright, well, that works pretty well. Um, come on, everything that I sold you is worth at least seven seventy-five. dollars Yep, there we go. Awesome. I've got a better... Uh, Mortar and pestle, and I've sold some of my stuff that I had. I wonder. Now, first off, I'm going to go back, and I'm actually going to talk to some of the Blades trainers in town, because I heard... Let's see. Um... Blades trainers... Rithleen, Chirmalin, and Nine Toes. Warrior Rithleen. What? No, turn. Alright. Rithleen is the warrior, Tirmalin is the healer. Okay, so yeah, they're all over near him anyways. Back across the river. Again. Hey. Is there something you need? Not right now, or at least not yes, for Thank you. What do you want? He is, I think, a sleeper. Creepy, creepy cultist dudes. There's two houses over downstairs, I think. Tiermaline. Yeah, Tiermaline. Hey, Tiri. Here, hold on for a moment. I'm feeling You've a little bit. my interest. Please share your thoughts. Out. There we go. Hey, tear. He's a healer. Solemn oaths in the College of Restoration to heal the afflicted and cure the diseased. I've also studied both the unarmed, unarmored martial arts of the Khajiit. 
The light armored, blunt weapon style is the Imperial West for self defense and disabling or killing dangerous opponents. So, spells and a spellmaker who creates spells to your specifications. You can also teach skills for a fee. Any advice? Join a guild. Okay. An interesting morrow and lore. Okay. I'm just support here. I don't pay much attention to what's going on. You're a blades trainer. Only to blades. I'm a blade too, and I report to Chaos like you. You're welcome to use my bed to rest, but please leave my other stuff alone. about that infested hole in the wall. Move the Hlaley Counselors. So time, Sixth House. We've heard. It sounds serious. We're glad you're on the case. I wonder, maybe I missed a thing. That would be kind of interesting if that was something that could happen. Soul Strider Services. Services. Outlander. Nerve Rain. Trade as a healer. Yep. Any Morrow and Lore? I've already talked to you about that, actually. A little secret. Vampires are not as much of a problem here as back in the West. Here, the Dark Elves burned them out centuries ago, and the Temple makes sure they don't come back. Advice, latest rumors, Imperial Cult, Guild Guide, Fiat Amamaea, Fort Moth. Remember to talk. Talk is cheap. Mm -hmm. Citizens of the Empire. Caius Cosades. He's okay. Sour. A warrior, but he knows his job. Leaves us alone to do ours. Hmm. Backhall Kloskius, or I'm proud of South Wall and background. Huh, I guess not. They do barter, though. Oh, not with much. Hmm. Well, I've got four large Kwama eggs, so why not buy some light, small Kwama eggs and make some restore fatigue potions? Hmm? That sounds like a plan. What spells do you have? Ooh, burden. He likes his burdens and feathers. 50 points for 10 seconds. Strong feather and alms juiced up. Tanya's hop toad. Always handy. Fourth barrier, fifth barrier. That's some powerful barriering. Calm creature. Reflect. Absorption, resist disease, and dispel. Huh. I don't know if I have a reflect spell or not. He has training in... Ooh, he trains an enchant. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Make Ooh. it quick, Outlander. I wonder who lives upstairs. Is this a uh, horse mouth? Or this is Warrior Rithlin, I suppose. May each day greet you warmly, friend. She likes me. That's nice. A warrior by trade. Any rumors? Just a courier. I don't know nothing. Any advice? Considering mercenary career? Fighter's Guild isn't too choosy. <laughs> Legion's tougher outfit and fussy about ends and means. House Redoran, they're tough and sharp, but tiresome in the duty and honor line. Hey, I resemble that remark. Okay. What sort of training? Long blade, block, medium armor. Hmm. 
train a little bit in that. May I read? Hey, more block. Cool. I might have to actually read through that one of these days. Okay, thank you. Aha! Jump. Is this horse mouth's house? That's some random ass that 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 that's houses. Is this horse mouth's? Or Halas. Hmm. I wonder, because in a different playthrough that I was watching, someone got stuff from the Blades Trainers. And I don't know if that was like a different version of the game or what. I see that sort of thing all the time, it seems. Hey, athletics. Neat. Hey, Nine Toes, how you doing? Flex, illusion, and sneak. Learn a little bit about sneaking. Thanks. Please go ahead. Speak. <laughs> Thank you, Nine Toes. Another book. Lives of the Saints. This is a. That says worshipy book. I'm not gonna bother with that. Alright, well, let's see. What sort of Easter potions we can make now? Hmm? Easter potion! And create. Apparently they don't consider batch making, or batchy potion making, a big thing. Now, those potions, actually this is a great chance to kind of see a difference. Um, Easter potion. So we had one that was 9 points for 25 seconds, and then one it ended up being 17 points for 48 seconds. Wow. That almost doubled thing, doubled the uh, usability of that. That's... Oh boy. Um... Okay. Let's see what we can do with this. Bloat and Netch Leather. Fortify Intelligence. Okay. Actually, quick, sh quick question. Are there any... Let's see, are there any alchemists around here? Dragor Bowl, South Wall. I want to see if I can find... Because Nalkaria didn't have any. I want to see if I can find some mesh leather or other. I will listen, Outlander. But make to find intelligence ingredients because I want to try this. You Let's talk see, too it? much, Outlander. Is it Ashiam? Yeah, Ashiam. Okay. I need to see if I can find some more Ashiam because I want to see if I can't do a little what? bit. Of a fortify intelligence spiral. And that's where you create a fortify intelligence potion. And the power of potions is based in part on your intelligence. And so if you have a high intelligence, that tends to make your potions work better. And I'm curious. Uh, and so, if you have that higher, if you make a very good, you will address me motion, with respect. 
if you make a very good fortify intelligence potion. Uh, you have more bloat, too. Okay. Doesn't look like you have any ash yams, though. Hmm. I wonder if the Clothier has any Nech leather. But yeah, so if you make a Fortify Intelligence Potion, then take it to make another Fortify Intelligence Potion, that second potion will fortify your intelligence even more. And so if you then take that and make another Fortify Intelligence Potion, that yes. potion is an even better potion, and it goes right on up from there. You can get some really incredible... You'd literally just have clothes. Do I have anything I want to sell? Got an expensive amulet, too, but not really. Okay. Well, thank you, though. And so, if you can get... Like, she's got bloat back there. And it looks like she restocks that really early. So, if I can find... A good source of ash yams or netch leather. And if I can be patient. Quama cuddle and red lichen. Hmm. Grave dust. Ooh. Yeah, I've already emptied a lot of these out. If I can find a Another source of, yeah, Netch Leather. No, I don't think that I have a retort yet. No, I do have a retort. Okay. It's the Calcinator, I guess, they don't have. Because the Skuma Pipe works as a really terrible Alembic. <laughs> I should probably just sell that Skuma Pipe and buy a proper Alembic at some point. Um... No, you don't have anything incredible here. Uh, fortify health, poison resistance. Okay, no. And here's the thing, right? Is that enchanting also incre or enchanting also is determined by your intelligence. Not necessarily the power of the enchantments, but the likelihood Go ahead, of stranger them working. Do you have either any ash yams or well, it does not look like you have ash yams or netch hide. Darn. Got kite and arrows though. Hmm. What about Ravier? I could sell the skuma pipe to him. Hey, Revere. Got any Netch Hide? Ash Yams? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Mage's Guild? And uh, Galbadir is an Enchanter. She's not gonna have any potion ingredients. A Jira might go. Yes, Outlander, what do you want? I'm not gonna bother with you, Rennis. Panacea, divine intervention, I'll see the intervention. Those are handy. Actually, I'm gonna grab one of those because I'm gonna be doing a quest that requires me. How do you do? Oh yeah, that's right, I've sold you those things. I'm going to be doing a quest that requires me to report back to a local Imperial Temple. Yeah. Hey, Ajira. What do you got? Do you have any Netch Hide? No. Any Ash Yams? No. Darn. A journeyman's Alembic, though. 
<laughs> Skooma pipes a lot lighter, though. All right. Oh, well. Well, let's see. You walk on warm sands. Thank you, Ajira. Fortify, Magica, Intelligence. 17 points for 49 seconds. Let's make myself some better healing potions. Shall we? Also, let's make myself a better... <laughs> better fortify intelligence potion. Aw, oh, it failed. Darn. Yeah, that happens. Personality, restore personality. Oh, Crush Fiber has Fortify. Okay, um. Do you have any green lichen? Oh, Chokeweed, Black Anther, Bitter Green. Doesn't look like she has any green lichen. Darn. Hmm. Nope, nothing I can use right now. Okay. What about Fortify Endurance? Don't see any. Oh well. Well, I'll just have to keep an eye out for Ashams and... Hide. My alchemy is actually possibly going up quickly. <laughs> but let's look at those healing potions. Restore fatigue. Restore health, four of them. Three for six, two for five, two for five, three for six. Four for eleven. Which is much better. 8 for 21. 9 for 24. 18 for 51. Yep, some of those are significantly better. Alright, well, we've learned some things. Let's head. Uh, no, not spells. Let's travel. Back to Aldrun. Shall we? I think we shall. That's still going on for a bit. Let's see if we can't talk to... If we can't get the ingredients for more potions. Real quick. Ah, nope, that's Black Lichen. Darn. He does have bloat, though. He doesn't have any Ashams, which I'm kind of surprised by. I would have thought that he would have had some Ashams locally. Some locally sourced Ashams. Nope, doesn't look like it. Hey, you want some spore pods? <laughs> Greetings. What exactly do you require of me? I wonder if I have any more duties that I have. My time is here. precious, so make it quick. Also, hello, Tenar. Don't believe we've met. We might have. Might not have, though. Veloth's Tower Shield, restore health. Fortify endurance, fortify speed. Iron will is speed. That's kind of weird. Frost guard, but I've got a frost mirror. Hound's nose, detect animal. The chiding curious 
trains enemy fatigue. Storm blade. A nice little zappy blade. Cruel flame blade. Cruel viper blade. Demon longbow. Demon tanto. <laughs> Ice mace. Okay. Whoop. Nope. Just cancel. Enchanting. No, don't need any of that right now. May I help you? I think that might be it for now. <laughs> and I think that might be it for today as well. Oh, Halim's hut. Heh. <laughs> that took a while for me to come back. Heh. <laughs> Hey, cool, I got some fifth barrier scrolls. That's actually really nice. Can you believe this isn't about a dreamer construct at all? This book was completely useless. In case I need you to return the book before Sir Lanway suspects anything. Right. Welcome, friend. The day is yours. What shall we talk about? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Wait, who's... Yeah, and Vivek, okay. I'll have to turn that... return that to her then. That's a bit annoying, because that's heavy. Ah, well. I don't really have the weight to carry much of what I've got. Do you annoying. need something? Alright, well, in any case, I think that that'll be it for today. This has been Anvil. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use... My supplies, and I'm gonna get straight to the local place. There we go, Buckmoth. Don't need to worry about travel time or anything. Why do you have a crate full of rat meat? Like, this makes more sense. You are a garrison. You're gonna have swords and stuff. I guess Scuttle is kind of like hardtack or something. Kind of weird. Iron arrows. In any case, I think that'll be it for today. This has been Anvalute and Pushes Through Obstacles. I hope you all have an enjoyable Easter. And have a nice day.